Hey everyone, David here with TND Sports Cards. I would like to welcome you to our newest video, and this is our weekend way back. So we are going to go way back to 1982. And as you can see, we have some packs here from baseball, hockey, and football. This was the first year that there was no regular issue basketball cards, um, at least to the general public. Uh, I went over this a bit in a previous video that the uh, Star Company had taken over uh, the rights to uh, NBA cards, and they didn't do really that fantastic of a job uh, distributing them. So um, it made it pretty difficult for the average collector to really have basketball cards for basically four years, 82 to 85. So that was uh, unfortunate, especially as you look back today because uh you know it'd be kind of nice to have some packs of cards from those years i mean honestly that was the time period that i was really watching the nba so uh i don't have a, a ton of cards i mean i have a decent stack of star cards but uh that was kind of stuff i picked up at shows uh you know much later on over the years um so uh anyway here our focus will be on uh football baseball and hockey so uh, what we have for you in front of us, uh, we have three packs of uh, 82 baseball from Don Russ. And uh, in 82, the uh, the big card was a Cal Ripken rookie. And uh, I don't think I've ever owned an 82 Don Russ Cal Ripken. So that would be pretty fun to pull one of those. Um, the rest of the set is um, there's not a whole lot uh, to look for. There's uh, Lee Smith's rookie card is in there. Um, Kent Herbeck, and uh, you know we have a handful of Hall of Famers. There's a nice rookie Henderson card, uh, Nolan Ryan, Reggie Jackson. So uh, you know, we'll, hopefully, we'll find uh, something nice in there. The uh, the hockey set, uh, we actually did a video on that uh, when we first launched the channel last year. We did a few videos in May and June, and I did one um, on the 82 OPG hockey and we actually pulled around Francis. It's uh, the card that's sitting in, in the front here. So uh, uh, that, uh, as far as I know, is still the, uh, the big rookie catch in that. Um, there's also Dale Howard, Chuck. That's a, a nice rookie to look for Grant Fuhr. And uh, there are uh, a good amount of uh, Wayne Gretzky cars, like eight or nine or maybe 10. So if we can find any of them, uh, that would be pretty cool. And uh, the uh, last set of packs we have is the uh, 82 Tops football. And uh, we did a video on, on 82 Tops football not too long ago, a couple of weeks back. And uh, we pulled the Walter Payton. And uh, obviously the big card we're looking for is the uh, Lawrence Taylor, which has just, I mean, it's gone off the charts in value. I mean, I remember last year around this time, it was like an eight or $900 card and a 10 and now it's like, I don't know, like 4,500, 4,700, something like that. So it's really uh, gone up uh, a significant amount in value. And uh, we'd be looking for also Ronnie Lott's rookie. There's a nice Joe Montana card, his second year. Uh, he's also got an inaction card. Several of the players do. Um, other Hall of Famers, Tony Dorsett, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, a couple other rookies, uh, Chris Collinsworth and uh, Anthony Munoz. That would be nice if we could find any of those mentioned cards there. So uh, uh, hopefully we'll uh, pull out some good stuff. So let's get to this and see what we can find. And I believe we will start with the baseball. We'll go to hockey and then uh, we'll do the football last. All right, so we have three packs of Donruss baseball cards, which features the Babe Ruth puzzle piece. I haven't opened any of these in a really long time. I remember going to the Baseball Hall of Fame uh, the summer of 82 and getting rack packs of these at the, uh, at the museum store. All right, so that is a piece of the puzzle. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got Bill Robinson. Uh, I know Bill Robinson well from his days as being the batting coach of the Mets, like all through the 80s. He uh, he did unfortunately pass 
uh, within the last like five or six years, I want to say. But uh, he was with them for quite a while, and he had a pretty good career. And this is what the backs of the cards look like. Nice clean design, much like the uh, the Fleer cards from the '82 set too. Very very nice clean design. All right, and we got a, our first Hall of Famer. We got a Gary Carter Diamond King. That's a nice card. Randy Stennett, Clint Hurdle, Whitey Herzog, Whitey Bull. Great manager between the Royals and then the Cardinals. Jeff Burroughs, Bob Boone, Rob Wilfong, Dan Petrie, a checklist, a Diamond Kings checklist, Bill Lee, the Spaceman, good pitcher. He's a good interview, too, if you ever get a chance to watch one with him. He's quite entertaining. Another checklist. So this is the checklist pack. Keith Hernandez. I have a very strong affinity for Keith, being that he played for the Mets and obviously played with them when they won the World Series in 86. And he has been a broadcaster with them for, my God, it's gotta be close to 25 years now, maybe even longer than that. Pretty much after he retired, he started doing games for the Mets. And the last one of this pack is uh, the Len Cicada. All right, so that takes care of pack number one. Move on to the next one. our next piece makes it nice that you don't have to worry about gum damaging the cards alrighty we have Mike Scott I feel like we've pulled a few Mike Scott cards as a Met hmm. yeah he was not really anything special with the Mets they got Danny Heap I believe from the Astros for him Alrighty, Bobby Gritch, good player. Mike Norris, Dean Orge, Mike Jorgensen, Bob Ochinko, our fourth checklist, at least our third yellow one. Ken Obergfell, Silvio Martinez, Daryl Thomas, John Lowenstein, he had a huge home run in the 79 American League Championship Series. I think it won game one in the bottom of the ninth or the bottom of the tenth. I don't remember which inning it was. It was opposite field home run. Uh, Ron Gardenhire, Jerry White, Butch Hobson, and Jack O'Connor. All right, so nothing... Nothing too great in that pack. All right, so we'll do our last baseball pack of this show. And we got another piece here. We see a little bit of Babe's head on that one. So we have Al Cowens, Rich Dower. We're getting all the wrong Orioles here. Dave Garcia, Daryl Motley, Kiko Garcia, Willie Stargell. There's a good one. I wonder if this was uh, his last card. It might, it might very well might be. It's nice too. It's centered really good. It's a good shot. I like that card. All right, Terry Bowling, Bob Ojeda, who went on to pitch for the Mets as well. Wayne Garland. Bill Caudill, Bruce Benedict, Cesar Geronimo, Sam Mejia, Steve Trout, and Don Zimmer. Now, he was the Rangers manager here. I honestly don't remember him managing the Rangers. But obviously he did. All right, so that takes care of baseball. 
And we will move on to hockey now. So again, we'd be looking for like Dale Howard, Chuck, Ron Francis, Grant Fuhr. Those are the rookie cards, the big name rookie cards in this set. And there are lots of Wayne Gretzky cards. And from what I remember opening these, the gum, whatever pat, whatever card it was on, it just wouldn't come off. And that is exactly what it looks like again here. Totally. Does not does not want to come off. Dan Lever of the Devils. So I will again attempt putting this in the freezer and see if it works. I had luck with one of the cards out of the four packs that I opened in the previous video. But I guess I won't lose sleep over Don Lever. At least it's not a, uh, a top-level card. All right, so we have Steve Weeks, Miroslav Freiser, Michel Dion, Marcel Dion, Hall of Famer. That's a good one. Reed Larson, Dave Semenko, Mike Bullard, Dave Lewis, Rick Vai, Tim Higgins, and Willie Lindstrom of the Jets. And this is what the back of the cards looks like. These are really nice cards. I really like the OPG hockey. I've mentioned that in uh, several of my other videos. They're just really attractive, attractive cards. Okay, so move on to our next pack. Hope that the gum card is not anything too significant. And it's a Ken Linsman. And this one actually looks like it's coming right off. That's great, at least that piece. Um, that's great. That is the best luck that I have had with any of these. Oh, there's still quite a bit of residue on it. But it came off and didn't rip the card. All right, so we have Doug Jarvis, Brad Palmer, Jim Paplinski, Rick Middleton. He was good. The Bruins. Guy Lafleur in action. Very nice. We'll put that one aside. Nick Fatio. Got a Red Wings team leader card. John O'Grodnick, who eventually played for the Rangers. Along with Mark Osborne, too. Okay, we got a Rick McLeish. Ooh, Paul Coffey, that's a nice one. This is like his second year card, I think. Yeah, his rookie's in the, the 80, 81 set. The 1981 82 set. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. I know he's in the Hall of Fame. Walt McKinchy and Thomas Graydon. Card stick to another car? No, it did not. Okay. All right, so we got a pull of coffee out of that one. That was pretty good. All right, so our last hockey pack. We got a whaler. Let's see if we can have the same luck with the gum on this one. Oh, there it goes. Very nice. Came right off. It looks like a like a goaltender leader card. Alrighty, so we have Blaine Staunton, Fred Boymastruck, Don Edwards. I think I actually pulled this card. Wow. Oh boy. I did. I did pull this card and I got this one too. In that, that same pack. Well, this is pretty incredible. Two videos and two Ron Francis's. Now this one's way off center. I mean, it is cut on an angle. And the back actually looks pretty good. It looks better in the front, but obviously it is on an angle. 
but it's super sharp. Not much, I will say. Looks really nice. Good color. I'll get that one in a case a little later. So we got Rick Lands, Stefan Pearson, an Islander. We always like Islanders. Keith Acton, Lars Lindgren, and this is a record breaker for, who is this for? Record breaker for Miko Leinonen of the Rangers. Okay, uh, Mike Leute, he was good. And Mark Osborne. And our last card is the, uh, looks like I think it's a goaltender's leader card. Dennis Heron. All right. Not bad. Pull another Ron Francis. I'm pleased with that. Okay. So now we will move on to our football packs. And there are lots of big cards we could potentially find in here, including the Lawrence Taylor and Ronnie Lott rookie cards. Uh, also, Anthony Munoz and Chris Collinsworth, plus uh, lots of lots of Hall of Famers. So, hopefully, we can find something in one of these that we can get ourselves excited about. Okay, and that's not bad at all. No real gum stuff on these cards here. Okay, so we have Ron Springs of the Cowboys, Doug France. Johnny Lamb Jones, Mike Barber, Doug Wilkerson, Robert Jackson, Tim Wilson, Doug Williams. Nice man. We got an Anthony Munoz sticker. I don't know what kind of value these hold, but that's a rookie sticker. And Doug Williams. I always liked Doug Williams. It was a just admired him. I thought he went through a lot, and he was just a really good player. Uh, Randy Logan, Harold Carmichael in action. He was a great player. Terry Metcalf, Freddie Scott, Dwight Clark in action. That's a nice one. Brad Budd, or Buddy, and Gifford Nielsen. All right, so that's our first football pack. We move on to... Number two here. Okay. Let's slide this one out. What do we have? We have a John Hanna sticker. All right, so we got Joe Washington, Mickey Watts, Jim Osborne, Joe Delamayeur. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I don't know, sometimes I confuse as Joe and Jack. Maybe it was Jack that was in the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure. I got Butch Johnson, Marvin Powell. He was good. Tony Nathan, Tony Nathan was good, too. Andy Johnson, Mark Brammer, another Walter Payton. Wow, check that out. This looks pretty nice. Actually, it looks like it's off-center, almost in the same exact way as the other one we pulled in the previous video. That's very nice. Super nice card. All right, we got Tom Jackson, Ed Simonini, Stan White, Michael Downs, and we got a Chris Collinsworth in action card. So this is, I guess, technically not his rookie because he does have a base card. We might have gotten one of these in the previous video too, right when we did the uh, the '82 football. Okay, so we're on to our last pack of '82 for this video. Maybe we can pull one of the big ones out. Well, we did just pull a Walter Payton. So what do we have? Frank Lewis of the Bills. Okay. 
So we have a Seahawks team leader card. Wayne Wilson, Mark Gastineau in action. Tom Skladani, Fulton Kai Kendall. That's a real tongue twister of a name there. Cardinals team leaders with uh, Otis Anderson. And we got a Glenn Blackwood, Mike Webster. He's got gum residue all over the back. Leroy Selman, he was good. Neil Lomax, he was really good. He had to retire when he was like 30. I think he had like hip problems or something, but he was, uh, for the six or seven years he played, he was really good. Charlie Joyner, Doug Deacon, Harvey Martin, that's a good one. Bill Simpson, and oh, and a Phil Sims. That's really nice. This is his, I guess his third year. It's a good shot, good picture there. All right, so that was nice. Okay, so we could do a little recap on our big ones that we pulled out of here. We just got the Phil Sims. We had a Doug Williams for the hockey. We pulled a Stefan Pearson because I'm an Islander fan. Paul Coffey, that's a good one. Gay LaFleur in action, that's nice. Marcel Dion, who is a Hall of Famer. And we got our, our two big cards here, which are cards that we have previously pulled on videos as well. So that's pretty awesome that we're able to get a couple more of these. They are both off-center. Like even the, the Peyton here, the other one we got is centered centered a little better than this one is, but they're fairly similar. Both sharp, good cards. And we got our Ron Francis that we can, we can clearly see is very off center. A lot of these are, like even when I've looked on eBay, uh, most of them are off left to right. It's hard to find a really well centered one. Actually, when I pulled this first one, I was very impressed at how, after looking at it over a little bit of time, at how uh, much better centered it is than a lot of the ones that I've seen listed on eBay. But, you know, it, it's... I've said this also in a previous video. It's, just, it's so difficult to find perfect cards. You know, you can look at you can look at price guides and you know PSA's list and whatever list you want to look at and uh, be like, wow, you know, this card's worth so much, but it's got to be perfect. I mean, did we pull any perfect cards out of this out of this thing here? I mean, this card actually looks really nice as far as just centering goes. I guess if I ever sent a bulk submission in, I'd probably send a couple of cards just like these to see how they would come back. Um, but uh, that's for something to do down the road, maybe. We'll see. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. I just thoroughly enjoy opening packs of cards. It's uh, it's. Uh, been so much fun to be able to do this uh, on the screen and uh, share it with everybody. I um, I would like to invite you to our next uh, video, which is going to be this coming Monday. It'll be our second installment of Modern Mondays, and we are going to be opening uh, 2019 uh, Heritage High Number. Our, I believe we have a hanger box of that that we're going to present to you. So hopefully we'll uh, find some nice cards in there. And um, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do the rest of the week. Um, I think soon we're going to do our first box opening, so uh, we look forward to that. I'm not sure if it'll be this coming week, but uh, uh, we'll be doing one shortly. Uh, we have quite a few that we'd like to share with you, so uh, we look forward to that. And uh, as always, please um, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.